Remember, remember the games of November. It's not easy because there are a whole load of them, but luckily we've gone through and picked out the very best new releases for you. With a selection that ranges from weird insect simulators to beloved franchises, including one of the biggest blockbuster releases of the entire year. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. This year we've had live action remakes of Aladdin and The Lion King on the big screen, but the remakes you really want in your life are their video game counterparts. See, back in the 90s, two of the best ever Disney films were turned into two of their best ever games, and now you can play them on Xbox One. Whichever version you fondly remember from childhood, it's here. The collection includes the SNES, Mega Drive, and Game Boy editions of both games, plus an all new final cut of Aladdin. They've all been restored in full 1080p, and you can even turn on a CRT TV filter for the full 16-bit experience. Ah, memories. The best. Beware though, these games might have that cuddly Disney charm, but they're notoriously difficult. But luckily, this collection has everything you need to make it through, from an in-game rewind that lets you instantly undo mistakes, to a game viewer feature where you can watch the game, then jump in and start playing at any point. If you just can't wait to be king, good news, Disney classic games Aladdin and The Lion King is available right now. In Citadel Forged with Fire, you finally receive that owl-delivered mail we've all been waiting for since childhood. That's right, you're a wizard. And you're not the only one. Citadel is a sandbox online RPG where 50 players are dropped into the magical world of Ignis, 36 square kilometers of tundra, forest, mountain, and a ton of dragons and monsters. How exactly you use your newfound magical powers? Well, that's up to you. You can team up with other wizards and go on quests, or just zoom around on a broomstick. You can build your own personal Hogwarts, or lay siege to the castle of a rival wizard, or you can tame your very own dragon and ride it through the skies, raining down fire on all below you. Match that Potter. What tunes are guaranteed to get you up on the dance floor? Chances are you'll find one of them in Just Dance 2020, whether it's Old Town Road or Backstreet's Back or, God help us all, Baby Shark. Not a game. Not a game. I'm Hey, I'm you're fine. I'm you're knackered already. I'm My God, Benny, you're I don't so know what I'm doing. There are 40 new songs to pick from, with artists from Ariana to Zed. And if that's not enough, the game comes with a free month's access to the Just Dance Unlimited catalog featuring another 500 tunes to get you moving. You don't need any special controllers to play, just your smartphone. You can head to Xbox Live for an online dance-off, but with half a dozen dancers all in the same room, Just Dance is a perfect party game. Which I won't be playing. This is the playground. The one they think they control. Are you on the lookout for a new racing game this month? Well, Need for Speed Heat should be just the nitrous boost you need. Heat takes the series back to its beloved basics, street races and cop chases, at least after the sun's gone down. You can switch between day and night at any time, changing Palm City into an open world of racing events that'll bring the police down on your tail. If they catch you, you'll lose all your winnings, so every night becomes a race to the safe house where you can switch back to the safety of daytime. Another important bit of Need for Speed making its return bigger and better than ever before is car customization. Whether you want to tune your engine for peak performance or paint your ride an ear-searingly iridescent pink, yep, you can do it. I will be. These days there are simulator games that let you be pretty much anything you could possibly want. A farmer, an airline pilot, a goat, and as of the 14th of November, a bumblebee. What, the Transformer? Not quite. Bee Simulator takes you through a day in the life of a humble honey collector in an oversized world inspired by New York Central Park. You'll have to gather pollen, race other bees, and fight off wasps as you try to save the hive from destruction. You needn't be alone as you do all this. Whether you'd prefer to play online or swarm around the TV, there are co-op and PvP modes supporting up to four players. And if you're playing on Xbox One X, you can play the whole thing in 4K with HDR for the ultimate in high fidelity B simulation. It might not have quite as much buzz around it as our next game, but I've been looking forward to this one. It's an interesting concept which is really pulling me in. Sorry, I'll stop bugging with these terrible puns. These are the worst in the world. Stop! It's the truth. 
choice to keep fighting that makes us who we are. Excited for Rise of Skywalker next month? Yeah, us too. But thankfully, while we wait for that to arrive in cinemas, there's another way of getting our Star Wars fix. Jedi Fallen Order introduces a new lightsaber swinging lad in the form of Cal Kestis, a Padawan who survived the Order 66 massacre seen in Episode 3 and went into hiding. Now it's time to complete his training and with Yoda unavailable, it's up to you to help Cal master the blade and learn new force powers that will help him fight back against the Empire. For the very best experience, you'll want to be playing on an Xbox One X, with enhancements that bring the galaxy to life in vibrant HDR colour. Star Wars isn't the only big December movie, with a video game adaptation arriving this month, so if it's not the droids you're looking for on the 15th, you might want to give Jumanji the video game a go instead. Now, I'm old enough to remember when Jumanji was a dusty board game, but in the most recent movie, Enter the Jungle, its characters got sucked into a video game instead. So it makes perfect sense that Jumanji would finally complete the circle and become a game you could actually play at home. Now, you too can transform yourself into The Rock or Karen Gillan or any of the other avatars from the recent film. It's a four-player action-adventure game where your characters work together to bash baddies, dodge traps and generally just save the world. Just don't be surprised if you find yourself sucked into this game. That's Jumanji for you. We are not amused. And finally this month, a strategy classic, Sid Meier's Civilization VI is coming to console on the 22nd, and it's perfect for any would-be emperors out there. You pick one of the two dozen historical leaders from Cleopatra to Alexander the Great or Queen Victoria, then get to conquering the world by dominating your foes with military force or outpacing them in science and culture. You can win by conquering every capital city on Earth or by being the first to put a man on Mars. It's totally up to you what kind of leader you want to be. And even if you are a civilization veteran who has wept for there are no more worlds to conquer, well, dry those tears because the expansion bundle is arriving the same day, collecting together the Gathering Storm and Rise and Fall expansion packs. That's 16 more civilizations and 18 more leaders to choose from, and a load of new problems for your leader to worry about, from dark ages to volcanoes and blizzards. But for anyone who's never played these games before, there's never been a better time to get civilized. Now. They know who you are. That's it for November's best games. But remember, with Black Friday at the end of the month, there's going to be some absolute bargains. And who knows? Maybe some of these games will get a tasty discount. Make sure to come back then, as we'll have a video all about it. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and let us know what you're picking up this month. Swing by the Mixer channel to say hi, and we'll see you next time. Bye.